These chunks are from the boat I cut up a few years ago. And this was the engine stringers. And they were about impossible to get out because of so many bolts and hardware. We just uh, cut them up into short lengths. Now for the past year, they've been instrumental in keeping the houseboat from sinking in the soft ground back here. We had them under the screw jack stands. I had six pieces. Now I've, uh, the houseboat's gone. I don't need them for that anymore. I've got two more over here. So I took the two longest pieces and cleaned them up a little bit, ran them through the planer, squared the edges up, and glued them together. And I don't have any video of that process, but basically I just glued, glued two pieces together right here. These were the two longest scraps I had. And I cut the end square after that, and I cut this end square. And I'm going to use this for an anchor pulpit on the houseboat. Just something to brace up the front. So I cut and pounded in a plug where the bolt head holes used to be. And plugged the round holes on both sides. And I'm going to run it through the planer again to get it flattened out. These are bronze, broken bronze screws or nails. And uh, they don't affect my carbide planer now. So we'll just run them through. So I got the holes plugged and I ran it through the planer a few more times to bring the thickness down. It's still plenty thick and very heavy. And then I cut the corners off just because you shouldn't have sharp corners on the boat. And then I'm going to get my big boy router and round all these corners over. I think this is a one inch round over. Because you shouldn't have sharp edges on a boat. And then to decide whether I'm going to put a finish on it or not. One problem I have is, see these dark streaks? That's oil that's embedded in the wood because this was the engine stringer. And I don't know what kind of finish I could put on there where I wouldn't have to worry about the oil. This is, uh, this wood is Yackel, Y-A-C-A-L. It's very, very hard and very, very rot resistant. Yeah, you can tell because it's been laying in the mud holding the houseboat up for over a year. And the uh, just below the surface, it looks perfect. Alright, I rounded over the bottom part that's going to stick out the front of the boat. And I rounded it over the... <clears throat> rounded over the entire top part. And I'm going to sand it a little bit. And I think I might put a coat of epoxy on it see what happens so I put two coats of epoxy glue sanding between coats and I just didn't like the way this stuff sanded so I went back to my epoxy paint and put a layer and sanded it and that's good enough until we get to the boat right, this is the front of the boat where the anchor pulpit will be and it's going to stick into the boat 18 inches and there's not much there to bolt it to so I'm gonna get underneath and make some templates and double up it's just plywood I'm gonna double up that plywood to try vainly try to make this a little stronger up front okay I'm laying down in the anchor locker and trying to show what it looks like the ceiling where the uh, anchor pulpit will be bolted through is basically flat plywood so okay. so I've got a cardboard template and I'll cut a piece of plywood and I'll double this. I think it's three quarter with fiberglass on top. So if I cut this template three quarter, double it up, screw it and glue it real well, I'll have an inch and a half deck. And if I can make it big enough, it'll be stouter than it is now. And that's my goal. The anchor pulpit is in place. You have four, five, sixteenths uh, carriage bolts holding it down they're just finger tight right now so now that it's set and the holes are drilled um, I'll remove it I need to sand the bottom of the deck a little bit because it's got some stalag tights hanging down and when I get that sanded a little bit 
I'll screw these two braces up to the ceiling with caulk or glue or whatever and then I'll drill these holes through and reset the anchor pulpit and it'll be bolted through the original deck and through the new stiffener boards and then we'll have to decide how to affix an anchor which roller to use if to use a roller at all or what we're going to do with the outside part so I mounted the anchor pulpit the wooden part and then we put this stainless steel roller on top of it sticking out and then with this aluminum want to be a Danforth anchor it just stuck out too far it, it didn't look good um, so I'm gonna bring it back eight inches and eight inches will just let the the tail of the anchor clear that right there so I'm gonna cut four inches off I'm doing this all over the water because it is bolted and caulked down I don't think I can get it up in one piece so this will be interesting I'll try not to fall in the water so I got it cut back four inches. I got the corners rounded. I need to put the router on it now. This is all kind of tricky because on, normally on an anchor pulpit you could stand behind it and work. But this houseboat has this little wall here, so it's uh, been interesting. Managed to cut the end off with this gill saw without uh, any special events happening. And then I took the jigsaw and rounded the corners and that went okay but uh when the little rounded blocks fell in the water they sunk so that gives you an idea how hard this wood is then holding the router with one hand and holding on for dear life with the other i managed to round the top and bottom edges um, and now i'm going to cut a slot tapered slot on the end of the um, pulpit so that the anchor the stainless steel anchor roller can slide back a few more inches and we can just pull it in to make it stick out less cut this little wedge at the same slope as the bottom of the uh, stainless anchor support and um, I cut a notch on the back of it to put my foot then the notch wasn't quite big enough so I cut it bigger and all I did was um, use it to guide the skill saw and move it over say a quarter inch and do it again do it again and uh, cleaned out the remainder with the chisel and uh, it went okay so um, hard on my legs my legs were cramping up you can't really get comfortable it's tr if you try to lean over the front part it's too far to reach if you try to get on the anchor pulpit it's too close to you to get comfortable but we uh, we muddled through and uh, Got that part done. this is what we ended up with and considering they came out pretty straight um, chiseling I think was the worst part because I needed two hands and it's just man it's just so hard to get comfortable I had to take a lot of breaks and straighten my legs up if this would have been on a workbench at home it would have been cake but uh, we got it finished up So the anchor pulpit is finished and even though I cut it back eight inches to me it still looks goofy but it gets the anchor outside of the boat so we don't have mud on the deck when we pull it up it's strong and it'll hold you up so you can get up front and pull the anchor up and now once I get this through bolted we'll have a real substantial cleat in case uh, the wind blows we actually have to rely on an anchor or in case we need to get a tow 
Um, I bought this. What? I bought that to uh, put the line and the chain through to the uh, anchor locker below. And I bought a hole saw bit that fits it perfectly, but I didn't bring a drill, so it's going to have to wait. And the Nautiline logos are cast. They're cast aluminum, copied from the original uh, plastic 